today's video is going to be a unpackaging video for the new Megazorb that I'm going to be using as bedding. So I'm going to be completely doing a first time impressions and what I think of this bedding. So it's actually really heavy so that's a really good thing because that means that there is a lot of kind of bedding in there but it's really big so here's my hand in comparison. But yeah, so let's just get started and unbox it, so... Oh gosh. <laughs> Try and I'll cut the package at the same time. So, I can kind of see the top and this is upside down. <laughs> That's fine. So here is the product details, as you can see this is the Megazorb animal bedding which is 85 litres and this is how much it cost, it was 15 49 which is quite expensive however it was free postage so thumbs up for that. So let's get started on the actual unpackaging. So this is massive. Megazor packaging. As you can see, it is really, really big. Um, it's pretty much just, and I can actually see through it, so it actually does have some kind of see through packaging. Um, it is really big though, as it is 85 litres, so it will last me quite a while. And Barney is here, so yeah, he's kind of just wondering what I'm doing, but yeah. So now I'm going to kind of open the package and see how it is inside and just to kind of give my first impressions on it. So let's get started. So I kind of just made a little indent. I don't know if you can see that. Um, how have I kind of just made a little indent? This package is like so big it can't even fit. But um, I kind of just made a little indent and kind of just smells, it doesn't really have an odour to it, it kind of smells normal, it kind of it kind of smells like Carefresh, so that's a good sign because Carefresh doesn't really have a strong odour, it kind of just smells like hay. Oh, I can easily take a chunk out of this, which is really good. So here is what it looks like, as you can see it is really similar to Carefresh, however the bits are very very smaller than Carefresh. It doesn't look like it has any dust particles in it, which is a really good sign. And it is just, it just looks really, really good because it doesn't look like it's made out of anything unnatural. However, this is dropping out of my hand, um, but it looks really good. So I can't wait to put it in Remy's cage and see how it looks like in her cage. So yeah. So that was my opening of the Megazor bedding. First impressions, it looks pretty good. It doesn't smell bad. It's really soft, so it's really easy to get out of the bike. Because it's all clumped together, it's really easy to like get a handful, as I just did. Um, and it's, it comes in small bits, and it's very similar to Carefresh. However, the only thing that Carefresh had, which really annoyed me, was it had really big clumps. So it wasn't really very, very good for burrowing. So this is really good because it is just like Carefresh and it is in smaller clumps. So Roboroskis would be really good for this bedding. As for the smell, it's really good. As, and it's, it's made from Northern Crop Dry 
materials so it's made from like the farms and all that I did get mine from a farm so after a couple of weeks after I've used this product I'll definitely kind of say in one of my future videos about how great this product is um, and I still haven't uploaded my pet haul so I don't know how I'm gonna do that but this is probably gonna be a late upload maybe on Saturday or something because um, yeah but I'm so excited to upload this video for you guys and see if I even helped some of you find a perfect bedding so yeah of course this wasn't really a review as I've never used it before however I will definitely tell you in future videos so yeah bye guys so today's video is going to be on a trade trade what the fuck so here I'm just gonna get a little bit less so it doesn't go everywhere. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this. Whew, gosh. So good a little bit for you guys. Let me just focus on it. Still not in focus. Oh there's a hole. There's holes in mine, boo. Mom? Yeah. Never mind. So once I've had it for a what? No. Whew. Gosh, Barney, she's naughty, isn't she? Can you go now?